Ladies and gentlemen, er, uh, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's too formal. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I'll never finish writing this speech. I can't even get it started. Thank you. I never should have said yes when Lillian asked me to give a speech about my experiences to all the new trainers at the Pokemon contest. I don't know where to begin, but it's too late now. I said I'd do it, and I don't want to let her down. I just want to write a good speech. No, make that a great speech. Thank you. But I don't even know where to begin. Maybe I just need some help getting it going. Then I'm sure once I get on a roll, I'll be able to rock it out. Thank you. And if I want to rock, there's only one person to call. Lex. I bet he can help me with my speech. Hi, Ma. What's going on? Well, actually, Lex, a lot. I just finished the Pokemon contest, and right after the MC Lillian asked me to give a speech at the next Pokemon contest. Oh, cool! What an honor. Yeah, I know, but I have to describe my experiences competing with my Pokemon to trainers who have never been to a competition before, and I'm kind of having a hard time. I don't even have my first sentence. I can help you get this speech started for sure. All right. You have to start by introducing your speech. What do you mean? Who am I supposed to introduce a speech to? Well, to the audience. With anything you write, whether it's an essay or a book report or an article or even a speech, it's important to grab the audience's attention with an introductory paragraph. You need to set the scene and tell your audience what you're going to talk about. I get it. You have to get them interested in what you're going to talk about. Pokemon contests. <laughs> right. Because you're going to talk about your experiences in Pokemon contests, you have to ease your audience in. Oh, how do you do that? Well, there are a lot of ways to do that. You could start with an experience or brief story. Like how about the time I traveled all the way to see Professor Birch to get my very first Pokemon, and then I wound up having to save him with his own Mudkip. Sure. Or you could open with a good quote. My dad always says. You can never practice too much, especially for a Pokemon contest. You took the words right out of my mouth. Actually, I took the words right out of my dad's mouth. True. Did you know you can also use facts or even a question? Like with all the Pokemon contests I've been to, which one was the best? Right. You pose a question you intend to answer. That makes sense. Then my audience will want to know the answer. Yeah. You could also use a fact too. That can be a good way to start with the truth about your subject. Okay, so I could talk about how you need five ribbons to qualify for the grand festival. That's a good idea. Could I do anything else? You could describe the setting where what you want to talk about happened. Like what the setting of a Pokemon contest is like. Yeah, people and places. You could also present an argument or point of view. That's good for debating the tough issues in an essay. Oh, cool. I like convincing people I'm right. So it could be my opinion about Pokemon contests, right? Good one, May. It sounds like you've got the hang of getting someone's attention. Now, in an introductory paragraph, after you grab the audience's attention, you have to describe what you're writing about. Think of your introductory paragraph like an upside-down triangle that points to your body paragraphs. You go from your attention grabber to general background information to specifically stating your topic to the audience, otherwise known as your thesis statement. I am specifically writing about what it's like being a trainer and traveling to competitions. Right. The thesis states your purpose for writing. It specifically introduces the rest of your paper, essay, or even speech. That's a whole lot of good stuff. Well, May, I have a great idea. Let's take a look at the lines you've got so far, and you pick which ones would belong in your introduction. I've got some ideas on how I could get started. Could you help me pick out which sentences I could include in my opening paragraph? Some of the sentences that could go in my introduction. For each correct answer, I'll show you one of my award ribbons. The first Pokemon I ever tried to use, Mudkip, wound up just soaking me. That's right. Starting with a story is a great way to grab your reader's attention, and this is a great one and on the topic. I like most about participating in Pokemon contests. Great start. Ask the question you intend to answer. 
My friend Ash always says, training gives you discipline, but traveling gives you lots of new friends. Nice one. Opening with a quote is a great way to get started. Hi, I'm May from Petalburg City. Perfect. An introduction in the introduction. You did it. That's the sweet taste of success. I think now that you've had a taste, you're ready to write that introduction. Yeah! Thanks for all your help, Lex. Anytime. Later. Will you help me put my introduction together? I have some ideas, but I need your help choosing the sentences that would make for a terrific opening paragraph. Could you select the ones you like and tape them in place on my notebook paper? Okay, so I want to open with an attention grabber. Which one do you think is best for my introduction about being a trainer involved in Pokemon contests? A. Professor Oak once told me that Pokemon were an important responsibility. B. Wherever I go, my brother always begs, take me with you. C. You may ask yourself how if participating in Pokemon contests made me a better trainer. D. Once you start traveling, you'll always want to be on the road, my dad warned me. Awesome! I would like to back up my attention grabber with an example, a description of what it feels like. What do you think would be the best way to put it? A. Sure, everyone thinks about the pride you can experience when you and your Pokemon complete a move you've been practicing and the crowd cheers. And that is an incredible feeling. B. Winning. It is the best feeling in the world. C. I may be biased because I'm already a successful trainer who has won a lot, but I think competing is the best part of training. D. My dad always says, the best way to learn is through experience. Right on! What would be a good next line to show that there's more to Pokemon contests than winning or losing? A. I look forward to traveling with my Pokemon. B. Still, being a competitive Pokemon trainer is about more than just glory. C. Even my brother Max, who is too young to train, likes going from competition to competition. D. My dad wishes he was able to travel around to competitions, but he runs a gym. Good job! Okay, now I'm nearing the end of my introductory paragraph, which means it's time for a thesis statement. Which one do you think would work best? A. There are three main things you need to keep in mind as a competing trainer. Time, distance, and scenery. B. Training Pokemon has been the most rewarding experience of my life. C. My dad, my brother, and my friends all support me no matter what happens. D. As a trainer entering Pokemon contests, you have to work hard, trust your Pokemon, and above all, believe in yourself. Good job! Let's polish this introductory paragraph off with a conclusion. How should I end it? A. In conclusion, I'd like to say there is nothing as rewarding as being a Pokemon trainer. B. Today I'd like to share how these three principles have helped me as you begin on your own journey into the world of Pokemon contests. C. I'm just getting warmed up, but don't worry, I'll keep this short. D. I'm going to tell you everything I know. Good job! You may ask yourself, how have participating in Pokemon contests made me a better trainer? Sure, everyone thinks about the pride you can experience when you and your Pokemon complete a move you've been practicing and the crowd cheers. And that is an incredible feeling. Still, being a competitive Pokemon trainer is about more than just glory. You have to work hard, trust your Pokemon, and above all, believe in yourself. Today I'd like to share how those three principles have helped me as you begin on your own competition journey. Awesome! We did it! Thanks for all your help. I think I'm off to a great start, starting with this introduction. I bet Lillian's gonna love it. Right, Skitty? Skitty? <laughs> I guess Skitty's been off making its own introduction. <laughs> I've trained Skitty, 
Bulbasaur, Beautifly, Blaziken, Eevee, Squirtle, and Munchlax. Although this sentence states May's Pokemon, it's more of a detail that belongs in the body of the letter than in the opening. I just love my Skitty. That's definitely true, but it belongs in the body of the letter because it doesn't introduce any topics. My brother and I love to hear stories about the work our dad Norman does at his gym. This sentence describes something about May's life rather than introducing a topic. Try again. <laughs>